Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. With this problem, we are going to learn a new pattern to solve problems where we reverse engineer a solution to find the maximum or the minimum. Let's look at it. In this problem, we are given the prices of candies and from that we have to select k distinct candies and the tastiness of this selection is defined as the smallest absolute difference between the prices of any two candies. And we have to return the maximum tastiness that is possible. In this example, we have to select three candies. If we select the candies with the prices 13, 5, and 21, these will be the differences between the prices of two candies. Out of all these, 8 is the minimum, hence, it will be the tastiness of this basket. You can verify that for any other combination of three candies, we cannot get a tastiness greater than 8. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's try to understand this problem with the help of the same example. Since we have to compare the prices of two candies, there must be at least two candies in the basket. If we select these two candies, the difference in the prices is 4, hence that will be the tastiness. Similarly, if we select these two, then the tastiness will be 7. Since we have to maximize this price difference, it would make sense to choose the minimum and the maximum of the prices. In that case, the tastiness will be 20. Let's see what happens when we have to choose 3 candies. Since we are trying to maximize the difference, it would make sense to choose numbers as apart as possible. So we should definitely include the minimum and the maximum of the array. A third value will definitely lie between these two. If we choose 13, its difference with 1 would be 12 and with 21 it would be 8. We have to choose the minimum of these differences, hence the tastiness will be 8. If you observe carefully, for any given k, we have to maximize the difference in the prices of two consecutive candies, so it might make sense to look at them in increasing order. Let's rearrange our array. We know for sure that the first and the last number of this array will have to be included, but the question still remains, which amongst these will be the best middle value? Since we have no way to move forward, let's try to reverse engineer our solution. Let's see what are the maximum and the minimum possible answers that we can have on any given prices array. The minimum tastiness can be zero. This will happen when all the prices in the array are same. And the maximum possible tastiness that is possible will be the difference of the maximum and the minimum values. For example, we have to choose only two candies and we'll choose the lowest and the highest values. So we have found the range in which the tastiness value will lie. Please note that for any given k, all these values will not be possible. We have to find the maximum value for that k. Let's see how reverse engineering will help us in finding the answer. The first thing we have to determine is if we select a value from this range, can we check if it is a valid selection or not? So for that k, we'll start from 0 and if it is a valid selection, then we'll try with the next number and so on. Let's see how we can do that. Let's say we have to choose 3 candies and we are checking if the tastiness of at least 0 is possible or not. We'll start with the first number and select it automatically. Since we need a difference greater than or equal to 0, we can select the second and the third numbers. So we have been able to select 3 numbers such that the difference between any two is greater than or equal to 0. Similarly, we'll try for 1. We'll automatically choose the first number. The difference between it and the next number is 1 which is acceptable. So we'll select it. Since we are looking to find the minimum difference and our numbers are in increasing order, the next number should be compared with 2. The difference of 5 and 2 is 3 which is acceptable. So we have selected 3 numbers such that the differences between any two is greater than or equal to 1. Now let's try to check for the tastiness 5. We'll select 1. Since we need the difference of at least 5 by 2 numbers, the next two numbers 2 and 5 will not be possible. When we compare with 8, we see that the difference is 7 which is acceptable. Now we'll compare the next numbers with 8. The difference of 13 and 8 is 5 which is acceptable, so we have found 3 numbers. Let's see if the tastiness of 8 is possible or not. 
we'll choose the first number 1. The next acceptable number such that the difference will be at least 8 is 13. And now comparing with 13, the difference with 21 is 8 which is acceptable. So we have found 3 numbers which are valid. Now let's see a tastiness value which will not be possible. We'll choose the first number 1. The next acceptable number will be 13. And comparing with 13, we see that 21 will not be acceptable because the difference is less than 9. So we were not able to select 3 valid numbers such that the tastiness will at least be 9. So out of all the possible tastiness values, the maximum value that is valid is 8. Hence that will be our answer. To find the answer this way, we have to check all the values in this range and the time complexity would depend on the maximum value of this range. This number can be very high and it will give a time limit exceeded. Let's see how we can optimize searching over this range. Rather than trying all the values in this range, we can do a binary search on this range and if the middle value of our range is valid, then we can repeat the binary search on the right side of the middle value. And if it is not valid, then we can repeat the binary search on the left side of the middle value. You might be wondering how to come up with this solution on your own. Don't be discouraged because this is a pattern and the only way to get well versed with it is to practice more such problems. If the problem talks about maximizing or minimizing something and you can figure out the range of the possible answers, then you should also consider binary search to be one approach to solve that problem. Let's see this in action. Initially our low value will be 0 and the high value will be 20. We'll be checking for the middle value of them. We'll select 1 and then 13. The difference between 21 and 13 is less than 10 so we cannot select it. We could not find 3 values so the tastiness of 10 is not possible. Now we'll repeat the binary search on left side of it. Our higher range will be 1 less than 10 and the middle value will be 4. This is one possible arrangement. So the tastiness value of 4 is valid. So we'll continue with the binary search to the right of it. Our new lower range will be 1 more than 4 and the middle value will be 7. Even this value is valid. So we'll continue binary search to the right of it. Our new lower range will be 8 and the middle value will be 8. We already know that it is valid. So we'll continue binary search to the right of it. Our lower and the middle values will now be 9. We have already seen that this is not valid. And now we cannot continue our binary search anymore. The maximum possible valid value that we have checked was 8. So that will be the answer. The time complexity of this would be. We have to sort the array that will take n log n time. And we have to do a binary search where the range would be the maximum of the array. And each time we'll have to go through the array once to check if it is valid or not. So it will take n into log of the maximum of the array. And the space complexity would be constant because we won't need any extra memory. Let's implement our solution. The first thing we have to do is to sort the prices array. For our binary search, the lower range will be 0 and the higher range will be the difference between the maximum and the minimum. We'll initialize our answer to be 0. We'll repeat the binary search till the lower range is less than or equal to the higher range. We'll find the middle value by adding these two and then dividing it by 2 to get the integer value. Now we'll check if our middle value is valid. In that case, we'll continue the binary search on the right by setting the lower value to be one more than the middle value. And we'll also update our answer. And if our middle value is not valid, then we'll continue the binary search on the left side by setting the higher range to be one less than the middle value. At the end, we can return our answer. But before that, we'll have to complete our check function. Let's define our check function, which takes the middle value as an input parameter. We know that the first value of the sorted array will always be included. So the count of valid numbers can be initialized to 1. For finding the next number, we have to compare it with the first value. Hence our previous value will be initialized to the first value. For finding the next set of acceptable numbers, we'll start from the first index and go till the last index. We only have to find k valid numbers. 
So once we are done, we'll stop. We'll check if the difference of the current price with our previous price is greater than or equal to the middle value. In that case, we'll include it. So we'll increase the count of the selected numbers by 1 and our current price will become the new previous price. We'll increment the index by 1 and once we have gone through all the numbers, we have to check if the count of our selected numbers is equal to k. We'll return this directly. We are done with our solution. Let's submit it. You can see our solution is accepted. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching.